Well, good morning, guys. Backyard scrapping here. Um, I actually am going to be kind of stuck inside today. I want to really, really wanted to go outside and do some pouring. Um, but it's about 20 degrees. It's probably only going to get up to about 25. And the little outback lab is like a deep freeze. So I have decided I've got about 30 of these optical drives, CD-ROMs, DVD-ROMs, and so on that need to be broken down. So it looks like we're gonna start playing around with these, but before we get into full bore breaking them down, I wanna do a little comparison. As you can see, I've got a CD-ROM here from 1998. Then we have their IDE. This is also IDE. Um, I've got one from 2005, which is a CDRW, and then we have a what looks like a probably a multi DVD writer from 2013. So this is probably a Windows 98 device. This is probably a Windows XP device, and then this could be you know anywhere on up from probably Windows 7 or something like that. So anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to break these three guys down and we're going to see like kind of like we did with the hard drives, the progression of, you know, how they use less and less material. And you can see just by the size of the box comparison. And this one's heavy, this one's kind of this one's like a feather. So anyway, let me get the camera set up and we're going to go ahead and start breaking these guys down. Um I'll probably start with the newest one and work my way back so we can get an idea of the progression of how they um, used less and less and less precious metals and you know chips and everything else to make these bad boys work. So we'll get back at you in just a second. Okay everybody we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one from 2013 if I can even see where the heck some screws are on. I don't even see any screws on this thing to take it apart. So anyway we'll see if we can figure this booger out. Um, I will probably time lapse a lot of this because it's not really necessary to you know for me to do all this slowly. So anyway I will get back at you in just a bit. Okay guys, so that was really nothing to do um, on this newer one. There's almost no screws to it to take it apart. Um, as you can see there's our pickup um, and it is a newer one. I don't see anything, you know, any heavy diodes in here. There may be a, you know, one round one here. But we know how to break those down from a previous video. Um, these little rods here are actually pretty good if you want to make like a period punch out of one. You can just, you know, take it down to a point on a grinder and then use it, you know, for your, with your dies or that, you know, your stamps that you mark your castings and bars with. So I hang on to these anyway. They're pretty handy to have around sometimes. So we have that. Um, we actually have these two ribbons are tin, and just so you guys know, uh, that is not silver, it is tin, so they are actually trash. Uh, we have this amount of plastic that is basically trash. Um, I don't know, maybe some, some places where you guys go will take this as recycling material. 
I'm not sure. We have this scrap steel right here, which is you know a little bit. I'm not going to go through and weigh this stuff. It's not necessary. Uh, we got a couple of copper bearing motors, which we have to take off the boards to go in our copper bearing motor box. This is the board, which is virtually nothing. Um, we do have you know our SATA connections that have you know one side. Most of the time they're one-sided gold-plated pins. Um, we've got one memory type IC chip and one little. These most of the time these little. I'm presuming they're a BGA chip. Um, most of the time I just don't mess with them because they break all the pieces when you try to take them off. Now if they are wired on, you know, or lay, have real legs, not like this that looks like legs but it's not, they'll come off pretty easy. But other than that, if they're like that, I usually don't mess with them. So we have a couple little connectors here. This one is silver or tin, tin and tin, so we would leave those. So really all that's on this board is that IC chip and that, and that's it. So that's a modern one. That's, you know, like I said, probably around a 2007, or I mean a, a Windows 7 device. Um, we did get a couple of ribbons that have gold ends on them, so we will take those off. And we're going to move up to the next one back, I believe, which was about a 2005. So let me get this cleaned up, and we'll get right back at you. Okay, everybody, we're getting ready to start on our second device. Um, this one is from 2005. It's a bit heavier than the last one. I mean, that's basically all we got off of the first one. We'll see what we get out of it. So we'll be back at you in a bit. Okay guys, so we have broken down our one from 2005. Once again we have some copper bearing motors for our copper bearing motor box. Uh, we have a little switch right here which is going to have a little silver in it. Um, we have to take this extra metal off of these. We have a bunch of ribbon cables that are essentially worthless. They are all nickel, or not nickel, but tin. We've got a couple more rods which we're going to keep. Uh, we've got this little board that has uh, a couple little switches on it, and those are tin. So we're going to take these switches off, and then we got this board, which is actually a lot nicer board. Um, we've got some good IC chips, some good flat packs, some uh, memory type IC chips, and some more here. These are all tin, and then we have naturally the IDE pins which are usually fairly heavily plated so this is from our 2005 device so let me clean this mess up naturally we got our scrap steel and our plastic so I'll clean this up get this straightened out and get it together and then we'll do our last one so we'll be back at you in just a bit okay guys we're on our final device this is the um, CD-ROM from a device from 1998. So this is more than likely a. Um, it's possibly that it's you know an XP device, but more than likely this came out of a computer that had Windows 98 on it. So we're going to go ahead and get started busting this one down, and then at the end of this one we'll do a comparison and see the transition of parts from 2000. I think it was 2013 down to 1998. So let me go ahead and get going on this one and we'll get back at you in just a bit.
Okay guys, so as you can see we got a lot more metal with this one. A lot more steel scrap. Um, plastic is a little bit more, but you know, I mean that's not really anything to speak of. So we'll gather that. Throw the little stuff out. But anyhow, let's get to the good parts. As you can see, this board is a lot bigger. Um, the plating on this looks a lot better. We also have some extra pins here that are gold plated. Uh, we have some bigger IC chips, memory type chips, some flat packs. Um, got a little LED back here, a little earphone plug. We've got more chips on the back. Um, I would probably check the MLCCs on this, even though I don't expect them to be anything, but I would pop one or two off just to see if they were magnetic or not. Uh, odds have it they're going to be magnetic, because um, I think that was usually about 1990 or early 90s, late 80s when the MLCCs were still good. So we have a lot bigger board. Once again, we have a bunch of ribbons that are just tin, so they are tossers. Um, our motors are a bit bigger, but there's some motors for our boxes. We got a little bit of brass, we got a little bit of copper, and then this, as you can see, we have diodes that are a lot bigger. So, and then once again, this, the rods, which I hang on to. Um, so let me get this cleaned up. We'll get all three pieces back out here, all three devices back out here, and we'll show you the progression or the degression of parts used um, from about 2013 to 1998. So I'll be right back at you in just a sec. Okay, everybody, so this is our breakdown. Um, as you can see, there's quite a difference in board size um, a slight difference in motors really between all of them these the motors are a little bit bigger um, the main difference here is the boards so this is our and you know and the diodes but this is our board from 1998 and as you can see we have quite a bit of stuff there's going to be a little silver in there. This is going to be silver plate or gold plate. We're going to have silver in here in the switch. We've got the gold plated pins and all these IC chips and flat packs and some on the back. So that is our 1998 board. Um, it also had a little bit of brass plus our steel scrap. This is our 2005 I believe board which we again have some nice just a, basically a smaller board maybe a few less IC chips than on this one but still some good you know some good flat packs and good memory ICs also some pretty nice plating on the pins, the plating on this one's a little on the you know the 1998 is a little bit better. You can tell by the color, um, and then the motors were about the same. We did have three or four little switches that are going to contain silver on this one. We have a pretty decent, um, pretty decent pickup here that I think is going to have some bigger, you know, a little bit bigger diodes in it. We have a little bit of brass here, and our last motor. And then this is our 2013, which is virtually, I mean, there is basically nothing on this. We have a possible, you know, little BGA chip here if we can get it off without it shattering. We've got the one IC chip and these, this little tiny bit of gold plating in the SATA connector. Um, we've got our motors. We have our laser pickup, which I don't see any of the heavy 
gold plated diodes this is probably the little tiny ones and the little square plastic ones uh, we did however get a little bit of um, ribbon on here we also have some silver plate and a little you know and a little switch a couple little switches and then some silver and a gold bond wire and that LED so that about wraps it up guys I just wanted to show you I've got about 35 of these to do so I'm going to continue on um, working on these today because it's just too cold to do anything outside but once again I wanted to show you a progression of material of how things have changed you know and how they're almost down to using virtually nothing when you compare the 1998 stuff to the 2013 I mean there's there's literally you know there's nothing compared to this alrighty guys we will get back at you all in the next video so everybody have a good one I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.